Okay, so we've got some fresh fruit and we've got some cool to put onto our plate. And we'll prepare our fresh fruit first to go on there before we take the kind of colours out. So here's some kiwi fruit. I'm cutting that into barrel shape. So we're taking the top and the tail off the kiwi fruit and cutting it round into a barrel. So we're just taking the skin off, but we're not cutting straight down. We're not taking a slice off there. All we want to take off is the skin. So we're following the shape of the kiwi fruit into a barrel around. And pretty much in hospitality and kitchens, that's how we peel most fruits, whether it's a rock melon, a pineapple, a watermelon. Most fruits we peel by taking the top and the bottom off and then peeling a barrel at the side. So I'm just going to cut some slices of my kiwi fruit. So I don't want those too thick. Just want them as a garnish. Let's get my hot water on ready for my panna cotta. Okay, I've got some raspberries and some blueberries. I'm going to use a strawberry as well. I'm just fanning that strawberry by cutting it most of the way through. Okay, so that's our fruit ready for our panna cotta. And we'll take one of the panna cottas that we got earlier. I've got some hot water here. And I'm just going to dip that into there for just a few seconds. So we're looking at about probably three or four seconds in there. So into the hot water, but no hot water can go inside the panna cotta. So the panna cotta has got to stay dry inside. So one, two, three seconds. Take that out and then just loosen it. And I might just use a little one for that. Just loosen that around the sides without cutting the panna cotta, and then we're going to flick it, hopefully, if I'm patient, it'll come out onto the plate. So if you look at that panna cotta, it's still nice and wobbly, it's not overset, it's not hard. And now we can go about garnishing our dessert. So, we've got some fruit, so I'm going to put my strawberry there. Got some kiwi fruit. Blueberries. Can't make some raspberries. Okay. And then we've got our coolie that we made in the lesson before. Let's give that a shake. Done. And as you can see, when I've got these out of the oven, because 